the reputation of Soul Calibur is uh, somewhat laughable because Soul Calibur was this highly respected series. The fans, a lot of hardcore fans of it, um, a lot of fans that, you know, are a little bit more valuable than some of the Mortal Kombat fans who, you know, they buy the game just because of novelty, because of Scorpions in the game and Sub-Zero's in the game. And all the, that's all they remember, plus Liu Kang, you know. Um, a lot of people buy Soul Calibur games because of, you know, the action, the guard impacting, the sword fighting, which, of course, you know, the guard impacting was nerfed in Soul Calibur Five. I wasn't too happy about that. But, you know, back on subject, Soul Calibur's reputation is very laughable um, as it stands right now. Um, I like their page on Facebook. Uh, I unliked it about two weeks ago. No, oh, not two weeks ago. Maybe it was a month ago. Um, the last thing I seen on there was a guy pissed off because, you know, what they're doing is they're announcing new costumes for this game that's not even online capable. You know, so basically you have a game with, I think there are less moves in Soul Calibur 3 because they took a lot of moves out. And, you know, they put in different combos, like easier combos, kind of like how it was like in Soul Blade or in Soul Calibur. But people are unhappy because they can't play the game online and they're not getting any more story, um, which I can understand that entirely. That's why I don't like the page, because like they just keep announcing new costumes, which I don't know if you got to pay for them or that you just run into them because I haven't played Lost Swords in a while, but I just, um, I just got fed up eventually. Um, here's a new thong for Sophitia. We know you, you dead or alive fans. You like shit like that. So we're going to put it on Sophitia. Let's give her a thong. Let's give her a thong and let's give her something to barely cover her nipples. Like that shit. I'm, I got tired of it. You know, I got tired of seeing it in my feed. Now, recently they held a, a poll for your favorite character, which there's a mobile version and then there's a PC version, which the mobile version doesn't really work, I don't think, because mine didn't work on my phone, uh, but apparently the PC version does. I voted for Huang because he was Miss Arugi's rival on Soul Blade, and they never should have gotten rid of gold like that, you know what I mean? But... You know, Talon was the most popular character, but people are speculating they're doing this because of Soul. They're going to announce Soul Calibur 6, and I think they may do that at E3 because they're, Namco is supposed to be announcing two fighting games at E3. Um, uh, some people speculate Tekken 7, but Tekken 7 has already been announced. I don't think they're going to give us like a release date at, on E3. I mean, at E3, because this game still needs some work done to it. I think it's actually far from finished. I don't think we're going to see Tekken 7 this year, the way I feel. We're probably going to see it next year because they need to add more stages and whatnot. But back to Soul Calibur, they may announce that and they may... Because, I mean, what else would they announce? Tekken Cross Street Fighter? I don't think they'd do that at E3. That's more like a Tokyo Game Show type deal. But anyway, yeah, Soul Calibur is receiving a lot of heat from his fans. Um, if you go onto their page and look at some stuff that, you know, they post recently about, you know, new costumes for Soul Calibur Lost Swords, you will lose your shit at how many people are actually saying, like, negative things directly to Soul Calibur and tagging them in it, you know? Uh, I want to say 10% of the people on Soul Calibur's page that like it right now actually say positive things about Soul Calibur Lost Swords, and... The other 90% are like, where is Soul Calibur 6? Why do you keep posting this useless shit? What the? What is this stupid shit? Nobody cares. You know what I mean? Um, I even, at one point in time, I was like, so when is Soul Calibur 6? Because this game is not multiplayer. It has no story. You know, it doesn't involve any story at all. And quite frankly, it's a terrible system last time I played it was just a terrible system there was nothing 
to, there's nothing addictive about Soul Calibur Lost Swords. It's not like Tekken Revolution where you could, it's a free to play game, but if you lose, you get so mad and you want to like pay more. Not that I ever got mad at that game, but it's not like you want to pay more to play somebody else online. They want you to pay to play a CPU. Like I can play a CPU on Soul Calibur 4 all day and I could, you know, still have as much fun as Lost Swords, but you know, that's not what the you know, the previous generation was about. It's more like more about online fighting and story. Like once the story's done, you're done with the story with whatever character, let's go online. That's just what it's about now. But yeah, Soul Calibur, I kind of feel bad that they got this reputation, but they've done it to themselves. Like uh, they were time restricted with Soul Calibur 5. I can halfway understand that, but it's just the fact that they were time restricted with that. And then they come out with Soul Calibur Lost Swords with characters, you know, we wanted in Soul Calibur 5 and didn't get. And it's just, it's just insulting for them to just keep putting up, put like working on DLC and working on these new costumes. But, you know, we don't see anything about Soul 6 because Soul Calibur is always that way. They're always making it seem like the next game is going to be their last up until like the last minute. And they're like, uh-oh, Soul Calibur 6 tag. You know what I mean? Wouldn't that be nice? Soul Calibur tag? Nah, this, this is probably a bad idea. Soul Calibur needs a crossover game, maybe with Samurai Showdown. But final thoughts on this. Soul Calibur needs to step their game up.